about 610, 27 kilograms per cubic meter, roughly a few proton masses per cubic meter. Yet, it dominates the cosmic energy budget. Here's the rub. The mathematics of quantum fields tells us that even nothing is restless. Every mode of every field jitters with zero-point energy. If you tally those jitters, each one contributes a half quantum of energy, and there are modes at every frequency. Add them up, and you don't get a whisper. You get a scream. The naive total is stupendously larger than what the universe is actually doing. In most of particle physics, we cure such infinities by shifting our baseline. Only energy differences matter for forces between particles, so we can subtract a constant and call it zero without consequence. But gravity doesn't play along. It couples to whatever energy is there, baseline and all. A tabletop experiment with metal plates, the Casimir effect, reveals that boundaries can change the vacuum's energy in measurable ways. That gives us confidence that vacuum energy isn't pure myth. Yet the cosmos evidently refuses the enormous value our simple sum provides. Maybe we shouldn't blame the vacuum. Perhaps what we call dark energy isn't a static background at all, but a new ultra-light field slowly changing over cosmic time.